guess we're going live then. Welcome, everybody. How about that? Evening. We're Good live. Evening. That's what I heard. Well, how's everybody tonight? I don't know. Is, is my audio working? You sound good, yes. Chuck. You what? sound chuck delicious. Do what? I sound like Chuck? What? So <laughs> I just saw that that maybe it's late. I was going to check this out. That Kyle's streaming right now. Is he streaming right now? Or has he already done it? Be streaming. I don't know. All right. I don't care. I'm going to send Sterling over there to have words with him. Evening, we'll everybody. To him. We'll send him a sternly worded memo. So, what is happening, guys? Nothing, man. What, what is All happening? I've been busy, busy, busy today. It's and Friday yesterday. Eve. Busy shipping antennas. So, yeah, busy shipping antennas, busy opening parts for new antennas, and busy Brilliant making day, antennas. I rolled oh, out uh, 2,000 feet of wire yesterday. How's your arm doing? Holding up to all that? Yeah, you know, uh, Jim kind of had a good idea the other day. I know it's hard to believe, ah. but he did. When I told him I was rolling wires out, he says, well, why don't you do two at once? Well, have you picked up 1,000? Yeah, that was my idea. <laughs> oh, I didn't, think it was, I didn't think it was mine. Sorry, I was like, Jim. I don't remember Sorry, that Jim. It wasn't your idea. Yeah, we can, we can go back to the idea. show. We did it live on a stream. So, there's so two, it was my idea. So I did the first one with both rolls, and those things are like a thousand feet of wire times two is pretty heavy. So I'm like, well, why don't I just leave the wire in here and just pull the wire, the end of the wires out? So I did two at a time. What was the suggestion? Cut down my steps. I'm not going to get as much exercise, but uh, well, you're looking a little puffy though. I so get it you done might want faster. To it up again. Could be swollen. Are you? How's your salt intake? <laughs> it's probably. Are you retaining me. water? Are you? Probably. Yeah, you look a little poofy, man. Is it? I mean, you know. He's probably just agitated because he's been spinning wires off effing day. I've been spinning well, wires. Well, this is the noir show, Chuck. Ape, you can say it. Jeez. Well, I know I'm going to slip sooner or later because I've been swearing a lot today. Well, Chuck, are you done I, with the yurt? Are you still doing the yurt too? Are you guys wrapped you know, that mess up? Yet? We're almost done with the yurt. Some bitch. This, this yurt. Um, we ran, we needed two boards the other day to finish the railings. And we were two boards short. And it was like, six o'clock at night at the time so we couldn't go get any and we didn't it was kind of my fault we didn't we should have looked ahead you know what i'm saying because we, we did go to the store but uh it ain't uh, a real man had, project unless there's five trips to lowe's in three oh, hours man, I well, hate that. I hate you know every time. we thought we had it covered but i'm i'm wondering if we use the two two by four someplace else that's what i hate it, about plumbing jobs man yes <laughs> oh god i hate plumbing that's Back exactly in the day, right. we used to be big into car stereo systems, and we used to put them in each other's cars and stuff like that. Really? And we no. would just go, yeah, we don't, would go. Don't say. We, I never would have guessed that with the maiden shirts. <laughs> yeah, but we would go and park outside like the auto parts store and just do the whole project out in the parking lot because you always had to go in there to get something. You know what I mean? Like you'd blow a fuse or you needed a wire or you needed crimps. You just always, all right. You oh, see my that? Lord. Yes, you see what I we see got that. Going right here? Okay, John, thank you. thank you. Thank you very much. And now I will take care. Sure. I will take Are you care doing? of the music. Okay, you're on it then. I need to make sure that it doesn't get messed up. Gila. He needs some milk. Some milk. Thank you very Welcome, much, John. John. John, so that is a you. YouTube member, and that helps keep this channel going and helps. We, like, I don't know if you guys noticed, like two weeks ago, we got the StreamYard upgrade, so we look better now. And uh, that, that's what that's that does. It to, you know, <laughs> Some people are going to ask for us to go back. Go back. I, I need y'all to blur you go back up to 480. Bit. Can you yeah. blur up a little bit, son? Yeah, so Can if you you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description down below for Buy Me a Coffee. There is the join button right below Jim's handsome face over there. And, uh, all kinds of ways to help us out to help bring you more educational material and tonight we're going to try and help jim get on fda because he's never done it before see i got yeah. his own topic 
<laughs> I, I'm actually on FTE tonight, which is O M T. It's not what? the two and a half hour mark either. Right. So I was messing with this thing today. This is uh, what you got. Man, we're off topic again. This is it's, okay. it's a Chinese amp. It's like well, every amp's a Chinese amp, I guess. But this one's like <laughs> 150 bucks, and it's like 40 watts. So it's not the best amp in the world. And uh, I never got one of these because I'd always hear something about them, you know, not being that good or something like that. And mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I don't want to spend the money, even though it's cheap. And talking to Don, and he was saying that, hey, you need to get this amp for your Hermes Light 2, and you just put a plug on the back that's an RCA cable. I, put, I, did, the, I did the PowerPoint mod already. Mandatory. And you just plug it in the Hermes Light, and you're good, bro. You're good to go. Because if you use these for some radios – there's an output current that comes in to your, to your radio that you shouldn't get and get those for the 705. That's and I'd seen that was a problem you know, for a couple of, not just ICOMs, it was a problem for a couple of other radios. It's not an issue for the 817, 818. Um, you know, so I never bought it, but then I bought it for that. And then there, there's a video of the mod that you need to make for the 705 and other radios. And um, the old tech guy does this mod, and you got to open he's a for that. Okay, oh, yeah, he's old. a pretty smart guy, and he's explaining all this stuff. And I'm like, I don't know, man, that's pretty intimidating. I don't think I can pull that off. Well, then I saw a video from K8MRD, and he did it, and I was like, well, if Mike can do it, I can give it the old college try. And I he's did right it there. He there he is right there. It's a big up to Mike. He, he, I, I, I got the I got the parts right here, and I built the circuit. Um, Look at that. You can see it there. It's only, I, I will say my solder job's a little cleaner, but um, it it's only better. three parts. It's, it's, it's a diode, diode resistor and a transistor. And I think you could actually build this without the two by three piece of perf board in there. I think that you could probably just get the components and solder them all together. Solder them together. But, um, so, yeah, Mike, Mike made it look easy. So uh, this is step one, and step two is going to be open the case and perform the surgery. I, I think you should do that as a live stream. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Because <laughs> that would be very entertaining. We'd have to beep out a lot, but yeah, well, I'm sure there'd be some cussing words and some swearing words. And and uh, it's funny because in Mike's video, he went and bought his own. How about now, Andy? His his own T uh, tip ring sleeve connectors. I tried using the supply. I don't even maybe I do no, I don't have the tip ring ring selector that came with it. it. Is impossible to use. Like it worked fine, and then I put the case on for it, and then it started shorting everything out. So I was like, oh. Yeah, so I, I order some in there. Oh, here they are. So here are the replacement ones. We'll see how these go. I watched your short the other day where you said, Oh, I want to let the sparks out. Yeah, what, what, what were you doing on that one? Because I don't remember that video. I just saw the short. And I, I remember like, that one. Oh, yeah, I, I had some. Um, I had one of my favorite inventions is my power pole connectors that just has the allig raw alligator clips on the end, unshielded. Don't do and that. No, I plug that into call a professional. Yeah, I, I I plugged it into a bioeno battery and I wasn't paying attention, and the two alligator clips. <laughs> I've done that three times. Did, Thanks, John. Didn't Tio do that to an amp? Did you do that? Not on, on purpose. Once? Not on, I, yeah. I let the smoke out of a lot of things, but not on purpose. It just kind of happens accidentally as a yeah, byproduct yeah, of shacking off. Shacking, shacking off. That's a note shacking to my friends. Off, yeah. I, so I, have I, you did, tried it yet, or you're not finished with it yet? No, no, I still got to put this inside, so I have not tried it yet. Gotcha. I really wasn't going to do a video on it because I think Mike did a fantastic job with it. So maybe I'll do a video the aftermath. I watched Mike's video the other night on his his uh, comparing the uh, the ATAS to the uh, whatever that little, yes, little Tar Hill. I haven't seen that. It was, yet. Pretty, it was pretty cool. But I got to say, I, I wouldn't. Think, have I've been thinking about buying mod. one of those. I wouldn't have attempted the mod if it wasn't for for uh, Mike's video. So. Gave oh, you, you got confidence. Do... He gave you wings. Well, you I, like I said, I said, Mike, if Mike can pull it off, time. I can pull it off. What's that? You got to do some surface mount soldering, or no? This is it. I mean, you just got to splice this into a couple of different. There's four wires. One wire you got to snip, and you got to you got to you got to get this squeezes diode in there, and okay, another couple of things that you got to you got to put down. But it was it was relatively easy. So and that'll let you use the amp that you got. Yes, it will let me use the amp on the 705. Now, the mod won't preclude me from using it on any of the other. Okay, radios. that was my next question. So. Okay. Huh. So that's an HF amp then? It is. Uh, it yeah, is. okay. I don't have an ATAS, no. And it probably splatters like crazy, and it's probably, you know, all that out of spec and harmonics and all that other stuff. But 
<laughs> but hell, I don't care. So you can get on FT8 and do 140 watts, right? Uh, no, no, this can only do 40, so you, you got to feed it with about five. So my plan is to use it with the um, 705 yeah, okay, and, that makes sense. and yeah. the TX500. Okay. So Very good. You know, those things were like right about $100, 110 or something when they first came out, when I first saw yeah. them. They're not, yeah, I think I paid like two hundred now, right? I paid about one. I think it's one fifty nine shift yeah. is what I paid for that, and it came from China, so it took like it took a few weeks. Now I thought about getting a two meter Dang amp, great. possibly. Oh, cool! Yeah, for here at the house because, yeah, I'm I'm kind of at the edge of things here. Sometimes getting a what it now? works okay. Sometimes it doesn't. Two meter, like a, a two meter amp, yeah, uh, or one for my truck from my through the glass antenna. How much does your 9700 put out? You might crack that glass. <laughs> um, I actually haven't tried it with the 9700 because I, I had a bit of rearranged watts, things and it? I just got it. I, say, I think it's 100. Is it 100? Then I probably don't need the amp. It's at least 50. Yeah. It better be 50. I think it's at least 50. Oh, yeah, gosh. I think that's, that's probably Hey, right. Josh. Josh. Josh, good evening. But buddy. it might be 100. Actually, Josh would probably know. Since he has one too. <laughs> there's there's Don. Thanks, man. So D Don convinced me to waste my money on the amp, and Don <laughs> might convince me to do the uh, do the mod on it. And I even started texting Don last night late. I'm like, oh, are Lord. you sure about this amp? And what kind of you know? I ask him all kinds of questions in the middle of the night. He's Javi has one. Patient. He's had it. Javi's had one for a while. He, he likes it. They what rate does he use it for? His eight seventeen. Yeah, you don't need to make the mod for that. But I got to tell you. I'm not sure the mod's any any more difficult than wiring up the Yesu connector that they put in this thing. So I can't get this thing to unscrew. You know, I wish that they would make an amp that fit the amps connector on the bottom of the 705 and then extended that one layer deeper. You know, like it was the same footprint as the, the base of the 705, looked the same, same shape and everything. Mm -hmm. And then those five screw holes drop down one more layer. And then you can put an extended battery pack on and those five screw holes drop down another layer. You know, like... Like they cared. Hmm. I gotta look like good, man. Like it was made in this century. This century, yeah. Hey, Raphael, how you doing, buddy? Although the seven hundred five is one of the most modern radios they have, obviously since it's their newest one. But it's a nice radio. I, I mean, it's I no Zygu, it's but huge signals. Well, uh, never mind. I don't want to get into it. We had this religious discussion a couple of weeks ago. I, uh, yeah, we did, and I'm. Well, gonna... we're having a little bit of it again on Saturday, right? Right. We're, Right under the guise of improvements that you would make to your. Uh, right. So let's talk about antennas. We have our shipping department right here next to me. Ooh, I even pointed the right way. I saw. Yeah, some. you did. Yeah, you Chuck did. has been busy. Chuck has been very busy. Y'all need to keep Chuck busy. We have antennas in stock right now. Mercury's and Apollo's. Mercury is the link dipole, which covers out of the box. Chuck, what bands did you set that up with? I don't remember. 10, 20, 10, 20, 40, 40, 15, I think. 15. Like that. I That's the NFED halfway. 40, 20, uh, 15, and 10 is the NFED halfway. I think it's, yeah, I think it's 40, Chuck's 20, having a senior 10, moment. 40, 20, 10, I think for that link. You can make it anything you want in that, right. in that range. Right. It's up to but you. I think we were doing 40, 40, 30, and, and, and I didn't do 30, 20. Perhaps if we had some vast repository of knowledge that contained the instructions on how to build this thing. Ooh, yes. like maybe that's something that can be found on GitHub, I bet. Uh, and then we know, have the Apollo, which is our NFED halfway. And we are still yeah. selling Mercury's, Ed. which is our last production. Hollywood, and I'm dancing all the time. we're selling Apollo's right now, both of them. So they're both available on the website, which you can find at coffeeandhamradios.com. Yeah, we sold out this morning, and I added 10 today Yep, at the Apollo's. So Tank says he needs one of our antennas. Tank, Jason has one that he hasn't finished building yet. I'm sure if you sneak over there, <laughs> get it, finish building he, it, he will never he recognize it. But, he did everything but tune it, right? Right. And Frank knows how to tune it. And I don't know that he's – I think he said he was tuning it like the next – that weekend. Is you guys going to be done make before the Did they make contact with be. you yet? With me? Yeah. No way. Well, let's get this show on the road. Now, can we share Jim's screen? Because this is a – I think the goal or the or, or the uh, theme here is is that work the James, and uh, and see all James, and he's got a James. fancy pants uh, dis display is how my friends in the South say that. Um, right. So James, you want to explain up what you got there, and then we'll talk a little bit about uh, this how to is, get a hold uh, of you. Yeah. Uh, 
fucking way. This is uh, SDR Control, mm -hmm. which was written by Marcus Rokush. I think I got the last name right. Don will correct me, I'm sure. The first name is Marcus. And this is a guy that wrote the software for Flex Radio as well. And so this works on Macs and talks to the ICOM radios that have a network connection. So a 705, a 9700, and a 7610. It does not work with a 7300 or any other ICOM radios, just those three. But it does. FT8 has PSK Reporter. I've done a video on it. Um, and this is all I've been using since I got this. I've shooed WSJTX for this. So... You've forsaken WSJTX. I have for, I have forsaken WSJTX oh, for this. That's right. Oh, can't do anything. Right. So you can change. Obviously, you can change bands. It has them built in. You can also do a custom frequency, like we did um, the other day, last week, I guess. Yep. Uh, was that on your show, Tio? I think it was on Nuggets. Um, What's that banging going on around here? It's me. Chuck's. Chuck's that, banging. That sounds like Azu sounds, man. It is. I'm playing with my ALC. So this is the uh, FT8 or FT4 Maybe I'm display, not. and you can change odd and even and set your offset and all that kind of stuff. You can set alerts and filters, so on and so forth. And then you also have... Go on and push actual... that up a little bit. Can you make that bigger? Uh, no. Not really without changing the screen size again. Well, you're good. That's good. That's better. Ooh, that looks good. Is that nice good? Screen. I like the screen. Yeah, yeah so that, go ahead. Is that on your computer? Yes. This but is from on your my radio. But from that's your actual my, radio though, right? No, this is an app. This is SDR control software talking over the network to the radio. Okay. Now with the seventy six ten it has a DVI connector on it. And you can use a DVI to HDMI adapter, which I also have. You can put out the radio screen straight to the computer if you wanted. I like that you can see the call signs of the splattering offenders. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You sound like a friend of mine. And so, like, one thing that I Another really friend. like about this with um, with this app is that on WSJTX, if you want to change where you're transmitting, you got those two little sliders uh, mm -hmm. that you can move around with shift click and control click or some variation of that. And this is just move your mouse cursor to where you want to move the transmit to or the receive to. And it pops right over there. So that's pretty cool. Of course, you can see everybody in the band and their relative signal strength, so on and so forth. So let me ask you again. This is different than what's on your screen of your radio, though. Yes. Yeah, this is this is okay. not the 7610 screen. Okay. This is this is the application on my computer right now. Gotcha. Gotcha. I like this. I like this. I mean, if I was into FT8. <laughs> You can zoom in when you're when your bandwidth there though, right? Like you can I have not been able to get that to work exactly oh, right. Damn, it seems to there's a plus down right below where you are. Just go down into air. What's that plus do? Hey look, I figured like it out. Yeah, but it So what are you doing, son? I said in big and not not small and in and small and and small and <laughs> And, uh, Hit that plus one know, more time. I don't know if you guys are doing FT8, but 40, I'm getting like Florida, like plus five at times here. Oh, that's yeah, it. I was just that's talking to Spain. As, that's as big as it goes. The bands are very hmm. weird tonight, Chuck. Hmm. Yeah, I'm having a hard time, though. I well, I am looking wrong. at the muff map. <clears throat> and Chuck, um, before we started the show, you could have gotten on 10 meters, but it looks like your maximum usable frequency is around 25 megahertz over there right now, so... Well, let me let me go to ten. Let's just see what happens. Let's see that. See if I'm seeing anything. Now the the, the muff right. the muff in Europe is um, around sure. 10, 11, 10, 11 megahertz. So you wouldn't hit them on like a twenty meters, right? I'm sure you could, but you're less likely to hit them on a twenty meters right now. Uh, hey, so bring up the bring oh, up your muff. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you guys want to get a get a look at the muff? Do you? Yeah, show yeah, us your muff. The, show us the muff. <laughs> All right, hold on one second. Ape got the muff. I got, this guy's uh, calling CQ QRP. Does that mean he only wants QRP stations to respond to him? Oh, I got. Liquid. I think it means he's QRP and. Yeah, that's the way I always take that. I think I'm aimed the wrong way for this. Can you game. see the muff? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure can. Muff. So down here, where where James 
is you're at around 26 is your is your maximum usable frequency. I was hoping earlier tonight there was a lot of uh, 10 meters into South America. Down South here. America. You can South see America down here, right South America. Now. Look at this, 51, 51 megahertz. Damn, son. And then over here you got 30, 37. Mm. Um, now, these guys could probably get some pretty nice 10 meter action over to uh, over to the to VK our, to, land. Yeah, so, so wait, when you say 26, is that 26 megahertz or 26 meters? 26 megahertz, my, my okay. bad. Not to be pedantic. Yeah, but if you guys are trying to get across the pond, I think that uh, 40 meters is going to be your way to go. And if you want to get some sweet North American action, uh, here's 20 megahertz up in Alaska. You could still potentially get on 14 megahertz, right? And uh, the 20 meter band and potentially get up there. I, I got Argentina plus six right now. So if you're able to work, James, go ahead and drop it in the chat. Work right. the old guy. I don't see. I mean, are you calling CQ. CQ yet? I'm calling CQ right now. I don't know why you're not calling CQ right now. Dang, lost it, missed it, missed it, missed it. And we got the Adam over here saying that 15 Adam. is pretty good into Japan. Hey, Adam. I ain't seen you in a while, brother. Well, right now Japan. I look at. I mean, if you take a look at the Japan muff, um, 64. You might be. Able to, well, nobody here is going to get six meters over there, but. We oh, get any, you. uh, You're zero, Jim. Holy moly. That's like the best I've seen you. Woot. Do you, do you have uh, some screen action you can share there, T.O.? I'm going to shoot right over uh, uh, Adam and Josh right now. As soon as I find somebody here. Mexico, Mexico. Let me, let me Mexico. share it out. I'm, Ooh, I'm on even, now. Steven. Even Steven. I had to say, I couldn't help. There you it. go, minus nine this time. Do you? Have, yeah, it looks like you're you're uh, trying to trying to make a contact there to you. I am. I just I saw him in the left side, at minus nine right here, and double clicked on him, and then it started out transmitting KN four YCD from KM nine G EN thirty five. I'm so not even. See, it's not even. Explain seen up that. what's going on there, there to you. Sure. So the first contact I'm going to make with him, I'm going to send him his call sign so he knows I'm talking. I'm going to say, hey, Jim. And then I'm going to say, it's me, T.O. Then I'm going to tell him where I'm at because I'm in EN35, which is like right around the Twin Cities area in Minnesota. And then if he hears me, which he's not hearing me. I am not hearing you, brother. He got no he, ears. He would, he would tell me what my signal report is. Then I tell him what his signal report is. And then he'd tell me that he understood that I heard what he told me when he told me what his signal report is. And then I would say, Roger, Roger, 73, and we'd be done with the QSO. Yeah, so you're also sitting on the frequency. You want to explain the, tw the uh, 2515 because you're seeing him call out, right? Yeah. yeah. So that was a little bit harder to explain, but your typical sideband. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. Your typical sideband frequency bandwidth is 3,000 hertz. And as you can see by this little set of chevrons here, I am at 2515 and there's somebody right there, which is probably Jim also. Yeah, Jim's at 2515. You see, he just popped up right there at 2515. So when I double clicked mm -hmm. on him, yes, I, I zoomed over to his frequency and started shouting at him. And that uh, automatically happens with WSJTX. But when we first started this, he was at zero. Then he went to minus nine. Now he's at minus 11. So the band is going away. Something's yeah. happening there. But you could also have other folks transmitting near or on the same frequency, kind of, kind of causing some yes, some jacked upness, right? Well, yeah. if you've got Splattermaster three thousand on there, this one right here, yeah, yeah, who doesn't have his ALC tweaked out? Two two. Who is that? Can you can you see who that is? It's um, two two oh four. Let me get that James on the screen. I James, can you see who's on two two oh four? It's around two two oh four. Yeah. We could send him a strongly worded email. We're going to be an official think. observer here for a second. I so. think. Hmm. Official. It might be KG. I ain't going to say it out loud because I'm not sure. Yeah. But, I but you guys really... playing along at home, you can hear him too. <laughs> <laughs> 
We'll send him a, a strongly worded email off off camera. I don't want to be ham shaming nobody here. See, I'm not seeing him. And that's now that's one thing I like about WSJTX's waterfall. It's I think way better than this one. There he is. This that's Splattermaster 3000, right? I believe so. Now the only one I'm seeing here is KH6M. And I don't know if that's our guy or not, but well, we can we can send him I a see, message saying this is a weak signal mode. I see Jason W5 IPA. <laughs> a weak signal mode does not mean that it is a low power mode. That is another Correct misnomer window. that people have. That's what I was always told when I first started. That it yeah. was. Mm -hmm. That's what everybody says, but that's not the truth. It is a it is a mode that is designed to be able to pull weak signals out. But there are zero power restrictions on it. You have to follow the standard ham power requirements of use the least amount of power to make the contact. And right now I'm at 100 watts and Jim's not hearing me. So yeah. I am not using Japan. enough power. I should tune up my amplifier and see if I can and, contact him that way. And we have talked to each other before. We've done numerous FT8 contacts. Yeah. That's I wonderful. Have two, I have two Japans, Indonesia and Argentina all coming in. I've got uh, KI5. FWJ trying right now. He was calling me when I was moving that card around. That I didn't, I now, what are you? Are you on your DX commander there, James? Yeah. And then I'm sure that's what you're using too, TO, right? That is what I am using indeed. Do one of you boys want to pull up PSK Reporter and look up Chuck's uh, Chuck signal there, Chuck's call sign, so we can see what he's up to? I don't. Yeah. I'm not having a. I'm not having great luck. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. I got like no ALC. Is that good? Yeah, you want to drop? You should drop the watts on them, Chuck. You, you, you got the, you got six hundred. Put on the oh, big just, gun. Oh, I'd have to tune up the amp for that, but that's all right. Well, here we See, go. We got I'm using. Kind of a pain. We got a little I'm chuck using, action. Are you point? Are you be, on the direction? I should be going south. I should be going south right now. Yeah, you're going south. So, Tio, explain up what you look. We're looking at right there. So this is this is my favorite website. This is PSK Reporter. PSK that's being. Uh, all of the it reports on all of the modes that are out there and basically if you have wsjtx on your machine set up and you have let me show you this because i i can do a demonstration you go into your reporting tab and you say enable psk reporter spotting anybody that i hear call cq i'm going to send a packet out to psk reporter.info right here that says i heard this person and what their signal report is and and what time i heard them and then it's going to make this beautiful map here that's going to tell us all the things that we need to know about what's going on. And so I said, show me on all bands. Oh, what? Yes, oh, all John. bands, okay. I all just, bands. I just wonder what band you're looking at. All signals sent and received by the call sign KK6USY on FT8. Now, there's a lot of different modes out here, uh, but FT8 seems to be pretty good. And Chuck is on blue, which is 40, 40. meters. And he's on pink, which is 80 10. meters. 10 meters. 10. 10 meters. I'm, I'm on 10 right now. Yeah. So then I can also narrow it down. Let's let's switch to all bands. Let's switch to 10 meters. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Finally. And we hit go to update it. And now we can that see where like the signal's going on 10. So, Chuck, what are you pointed? Uh, I'm pointing point south right now. I'm pointing south. So, so Chuck, up those. here. Yeah, he he's getting them, them fellers in Florida off the side of. I just got though. I just got Brazil actually. So you pointed straight south, Chuck. Yeah, I'm probably probably too much south for uh, Brazil, really. But he's a. Uh, well, keep in mind this map is not an accurate representation of the disc. Looks like. Oh Lord, there it is. Bingo. And so there's me on forty. And I think I observed today, I think I made a scientific observation that PSK Reporter only receives CQ calls, not every single person that hears every part of your conversation. Oh, I haven't that done CQ sense. for a while. <laughs> well, I guess unless I'm calling somebody back. Yeah, what are you saying there, T.O.? Say that again, nice and slow. So you know how you can see on the left-hand side, let me pull up WSJTX again. You can see on the left-hand side, every part of this conversation right here. I can see the KI5QQG and KW8I are having a conversation. I can see which part of the conversation they're in. I can see W, 
B2 NVR and KA3 IRT are finishing their queue. So I can see all of these things and therefore I could report on all of these things. But I think I observed today and I don't okay. have any backing on this, but I think I observed that PSK reporter only receives stations that have heard you call CQ, not every part of your conversation all day long. Gotcha. Because yeah, I haven't looks- called... I've been calling for Jim here, and my latest contact yeah, on I, PSK reporter one minute ago, three minutes ago, two minutes ago, maybe. So there should see, be some is, zero minutes in here. This is the second or third busted call I've got going on. Yeah, there it is. YV right maybe now wrong. answered me, and then I'm responding to him, and I'm getting, I'm getting nothing. What are you saying there? So <clears throat> I called CQ. And W9YV answered me. And then I answered him back and said, hey, bro, I'm getting you at minus 21, which is kind of in the, in the turlet, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And uh, then I kept telling him that, and he waved off or got tired. And my software got tired. So, And that's a timer you can set in, in this and in WSJTX as well. So... Um, well, I'm wondering what kind of jank station you're running over there. We got to. Uh, All right. I got K murder coming in at minus four, amigo. Very good. Pull up the, uh, the band scope and see if we can see him on there. Well, I was going to show PSK reporter, um, in this app because it has it built in. Oh, so damn. you could, yeah, that's right. You need to get this. And so it'll do a lot of the same things that the PSK reporter website will. It does not slice and dice quite as well. But it also um, has a true representation of how this all works. When I can zoom out. Hello. I got Louisiana right now. KI5 FW. You need to swing that thing around and point it at the. I'm I'm on my doublet right now. I'm on my doublet right now. I'm, I'm back on 40. Is he on 40? There we go. Josh is saying that he can see you, but he can't see he can't see uh, James. There's the true representation of uh, what PSK reporter is trying to show you. Not really. I think the band was short today. Tell you the truth, when I was up on earlier. Well, that's kind of what I'm seeing right now. Because I was um, listening to guys that were like right, not far from me. And I have a successful QSO with uh, Mike. So yay. That worked. So I sent Mike. Mike sent me uh, uh, minus three, and I sent Mike a minus four. So outstanding. And Josh sees me. So now the software, this software, when I tell it to CQ, it will sit there and start just pounding and keep going. If it doesn't get an answer after a few minutes, then it'll stop. But if it makes a QSO, it'll log it and then keep going and call it again. Mike it's says that you right didn't now, complete. Josh. Mike is saying that you didn't complete the QSO. Uh, it hmm. says I sent him. It shows me a RR seventy three. Yeah, WSJTX has been acting weird lately. I don't know what's going on there. Well, he's not using WSJTX. But I bet Mike is. Mike, are you using? Uh... And by the way, hmm. it's Jim. It's, just, it's not James. That's Ape being. Ape. <laughs> I thought it's, it was it's, James. It's Jim. Well, that's my government name that my mom called me when I was in trouble. Ain't nobody else on the planet calls me James. All right. Well, hmm. take it easy there, cowboy. Yeah, calm down now. Yeah. You get all so right, upset Jim, about everything. Jim, Jim, ahem, Jim, I'm hearing you at uh, minus two right now, and you're in my queue to call next. Okay. I'm working IU4DTB. And I'm hitting you with 200 watts now. Italy. 200 watts. Wow. Oh, Adam right. Dennis is up in the house, too. That's what's up see, there, uh, Jim didn't see me at 100 watts, so I did not have enough power. So now I've doubled my power output. That's right. That's right. Hmm. And Mike, I think it's something with... Um... <laughs> right, Mike? Oh, oh, now he's getting Italy. That's what we yeah. knew was going to be a problem. <laughs> he blew you off now, my... James. Jim, 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 Jim. So what Steve was saying about WSJTX, I think WSJTX sometimes expects RRR instead of RR73. Yes. Oh, that, that, that was something. House. 
that was something that changed in like the 2.2 or 2.3 version and now we're up to 2.5 well, okay. Mike is running. Mike is running on his brand new Evolve Three, so oh, he God. has the latest version. <laughs> What's I don't that? know if you boys are going to try to blame the hardware in this one. I don't know. I'm not. Blame, I'm not. Blame the wet wheel. Uh -oh, Chuck, Chuck I, should, I checked my time. Tell him, Chuck. I tell him all the time. Let's, let's, let's your, your go time to what is. is. Jim. That's probably what mine is. I your your time is one dot four to me, Jim. Go to that website, James, and let I us did. see the result. It when, did. What did it say? It says my time was 0. 0.024 seconds fast. Hold a second. There was a comment in here earlier. Let me go up here and uh, highlight it again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Can we star that? <laughs> star. You people. You people. I feel like I'm in no, QRZ no, forums right now. So, yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that. And I suspect that I know... Mike is on the second best laptop for ham radio. Mike, I am Chuck. on a, I am on a hmm. 2012 Mac Pro. Chuck and that Martin was having a Q cell. Unofficially upgraded to Big Sur. Mark, oh yeah, oh. from Washington. I think this could be the Apple police after me. Uh oh. The police. Okay, maybe we should change this over to Kentio FT8. Can any of you boys see W1BUS? Yeah, My friend Danny Martin is in there. Was that Danny? I got it totally wrong. Sorry, Dan. So many call signs. I saw Dan trying to reach Chuck. What's what's his name? What's his number? His uh, call W1 sign? His bus. number. I don't know. I got number. I got bus. I got I got W1 bus right now. That's him. That's him. There you go, Mike. That's how you operate WSJTX. See, that's a see like Josh and and uh, and Adam both should be fairly good for me on 40. I mean, Chris, I which one talk. is correct? I can though. talk there. I'm not calling you out. I literally don't know the answer. Which one is correct? I think it's, R -R -R? The, th I think it's the three. You don't need to, you don't need to drop to 73. Because this is a default install, and this is how it came out of the box. I don't Here know what go. I'm we doing, got, guys. So y if you made a contact with me, this is really rare. Why? Rare contact right here. Why? Let, let, let's let's uh i don't Joe see his call sign house. anywhere throw it out there jay bizzle yeah what are you waiting for son kr5 triple e i kind of feel like mike is a victim statement i mean we need to we we can have a show where we just read victim <laughs> statements like this one if we need to <laughs> But I mean, well, I, like I kind of, I kind of agree. I mean, he's 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 getting all excited. He thinks he's going to get to work, uh, a YouTuber live on air, and this, and, and, and then James does him dirty. Goes in. James, I'm, I'm like, why would you do victim. that, son? He is the I'm victim. I'm switching he to says. even right now. Mm. All right, I got KI five WJ. Did we finish? <laughs> Did we? <laughs> <laughs> I seem to. I seem to be yeah, stuck. Kind of, just like my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Only you ghosted her before the first reply, right? That, that's that's how you. Uh, that's your story. Dan says it's eight ninety one, and the A test on the bus. I don't know. I've not, I haven't finished. I'm like can't finish it for some reason. He says so I my answer to you. I'm answering you right now, son. Kr five triple E. I can hear you. I don't think you can hear me. That's his go-to move, uh, Joe Brett. Oh, no, Randall, Randall, Randall. No, it's it's fully erect. Dan oh, says what? I'm done. My DX command. <laughs> <laughs> Randall was thinking it suffered the same fate as the uh, what, what was it? The uh, disc cone. The disc cone antenna got got yeah, blown Yeah, the disc cone. You know that actually didn't make that disc cone any worse. It really, uh, it really didn't. It actually performed performed better on the ground. And yeah. the thing is, is that uh, being a police officer, Joe Brett sees that Jim's ghosting behavior is a pattern. It's an established pattern that he's got going on here. So that's right. Hmm. I'm going to switch to 30. Totally dipping out. Do any of you boys see uh, AA zero AM? Andy. No, not on this round. I don't see you. I don't either. I'm going to jump over to, to 30. Uh, 
What I, is that? I, uh, Amazon. I'm not sure, I ever Australia, saw him. Zero Alpha Mango. Is that, just, uh, is that how he says his call sign? Mango. Why don't it be Amazon? Amazon. I find it better to mix them up a little bit. That way, folks, in case somebody has trouble hearing one of them, right? You get two tries. Amazonian Aardvark. Zero Alpha Mango. Hollywood said nobody's hearing his dummy load. Well, uh -oh. Hollywood, that's what, what you did, get. What did you call Jim? <laughs> Very funny. I haven't found Tank on there yet either. Oh, big change. We got some POTA stations out there too. So you have to put that in like your, where would you put POTA in that let first me, one? Let me show it up to you here, Chuck. Right down here. Hold on. We got to change the, the screen layout. You got to put right. the park name in there too, right, son? No, you don't have to do that. But uh, right down here, CQ mm -hmm. POTA. Oh, CQ POTA. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Sorry, that's my mistake. Oh, let's mock Steve for a while. And Steve's going then, by the book. Then when you do enable TX and it'll start transmitting CQ POTA, people know that you're in a park. And there's okay. a reverse POTA spot. So if you tell uh, the Parks on the Air app that you have a scheduled activation, they will start looking for your call sign. And when they hmm. see it, they will spot you on POTA.app also. You know, I've I've actually got the radio out before and made contacts with guys that were doing POTA just to see if I could. And these one the one of the guys does it a lot, and he was saying that he has problems finishing sometimes the uh, the contacts from when he's out portable. But I don't know. Got to make a commitment, man. He actually emailed me later because I wasn't sure if we ever finished. Uh, mine so what did he say? Hey, can you help, can you help me finish, Chuck? I was having a little bit of trouble there, and I. No, he said we maybe we had our I contact. And, I mean, that's a bro move helping your your buddy finish. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cafe Noir. Our Saturday shows are a little more tame than this. So crack open your favorite what? beer, sit back and he relax. Just, Let's talk about just, Jim's erection. Let's talk did. about Chuck helping a brother finish. <laughs> Chuck just helped a brother finish. That's all. I mean, you know. I'm looking at W5 move. ERX. You want to make sure he got some sleep. Is he in the show? Is he out here today? ERX. That was almost, almost a. This one reminds me of TO's W9G. Oh, oh. I see. Uh, I don't know what W nine. That's is. him right there. Get him. Get him. I'm working wrong Where? right now. Who I'm pointing out K five Y V Y because I see. It I doesn't see look like you're right. working anybody, son. Right here, son. It's a little early for Ron to be up too. He doesn't usually get up to like nine or so. Yeah. Who you? It's who, always, who is that? It's, I'm, I'm eating lunch and Ron's like, "Good morning, everybody." Just I know. Up. I know. Right. <laughs> I come back from after lunch. Good morning. And he's an eight call. He ain't got no excuse for that. He ain't got time for it. That's right, Travis. All good Elmers help finish. That's exactly right. James, if you're on 30, we got Ben Williams over here. Um, kangaroo, Kilo, Four, Eucalyptus, <laughs> Watermelon, <laughs> Taipei. Didn't you do didn't you do a video on this? Not oh to do the water telephone. <laughs> no. I, I don't even one? know what you just said. <laughs> Made it, Ron. Trying to Joe Brett, I'm coming it. for you now. I said kangaroo kimchi I don't for see eucalyptus Brett. watermelon Taipei. I am calling even. So I said watermelon I think... Taipei, son. Yeah, Taipei. watermelon Taipei. Taipei. I said it plain as day. I say, I say, boy. I'm calling even CQ right now. Hmm. And the clock thing, I think, is going to be the problem. This I'm on a Mac Pro, and mm -hmm. it's a 2012 Mac Pro. And Apple police say I can't upgrade it past Mojave, which is like four or five operating systems ago. So I've been tinkering with it to stick it to the man. We're going to put Joe Brett in the in the house with you. He had his notch filter on. That does. On. That does. Who, who, why, right. Who in the world sitting there with a notch filter on while the FT8? It's oh, your, FT8. All right. So let's talk about notch filters. You see this pretty waterfall here that's filled with everything? I'm going to oh, turn on my notch. notch. On I'm going to turn on my notch, notch filter. Josh I'm on auto it. notch now. And after this, KR5 you'll, you'll start to see it I'm pop in. You right now. Randall, is that you? KR5 Triple E? Auto notch is going to find the strongest signal in the waterfall and shut it up. 
And with this being right WFG, right it's going to get rid of like the middle of the waterfall. <laughs> I needed, I needed and that with my doing, it's, it's doing it up between 25. It's around, it's around 27.5. Yeah, let me stop calling CQ real quick. Ben Williams, that's probably what's going to happen. This is like the dual Xeon um, six cores in each, so I have 12 cores. The processor, the hardware is fine. It's just... I am on the cheap one of the cheapest computers I own. It was free. Planned obsolescence from Apple. Hmm. Planned obsolescence. Planned abstinence? No. A ab obsolescence. That too. Son, what are you doing with that uh, with that laptop no. I sent you? Chuck, you got an Evolve three, didn't you? No, no. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a something a HP. My wife wanted it, and she says, "Here, you can have this." All right, Randall, I got a, I, I got an RR seventy three. I sent you one. I think I got something set up wrong here. Randall, where, uh, I forgot where you are, buddy. You're working, Randall, right now. Yeah, I just finished him according to this. So see how the time, if Kangaroo, my time is Ricardo, wacky, five, everyone, eucalyptus, uh, Kiki expandable. Ricky five, echo, echo, echo. So I made a, uh, I made the notch filter into the mid. So it's a little more dramatic and you can see this hole that opened up in my waterfall right here. That's what you Instead Joe of trying to auto notch. Cause it couldn't figure out what to auto notch. Cause there's too many strong signals. It's too like, many hell, signals. I don't know where to block all that. That's right. And I'm going to turn the notch off. Oh, yeah. They're, they're like all together. Every right. every 50 hertz. Pretty close, yeah. Which one and are you using? Now you see come right back. But you can also adjust the width of your notch filter, too, by the way. I can adjust the width and I can adjust the location of it as well. I've, I've got a fantastic video on notch filtering. That, I'm I, calling I think CQ I learned this on stuff, 30 right? even. Thank you. So I got Randall and he's east of Dallas. I'm a QSY to 30. So we got the, you're up here on uh, on 30, right? Yeah. Did you see Josh? He said he was going to go play on 30. I have not seen he Josh said he, yet. Josh said he saw you. He was trying to get you. I'm calling. Oh, boy. Here we go. Now you're going to have to round up Josh, Joe, Brett, and James, and I'll put them in the mediation class. Oh, and Josh, are you using SDR control on a 7610 as well? Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. We got you over not, there too, right? Not continuously transmitting. He's getting every third frame. There you go. I see you at 10 now, Jim. Yeah, see, I'm calling away, but nobody's answering. I am answering Same you. Here. Hold your horses. We can't yeah, see, see your Randall. Jones. Randall didn't get my RR seventy three. You done him dirty like you did like you did like MRD. I'm here playing cards with my brother's kids or something. You nerve wracking sons of bitches. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's right. Can we, Jim? Hear you. Go on, Travis. Get after it, son. I just got. Uh, I see Andy, and I just answered Ko. Kankakee, Oliver Four, <laughs> Pedro, Ugly, Unicorn. What'd you say about Ace for, for for um, O, we use a compound word. We uh, Olive Tapenade. I know that my, not. <laughs> my you might get often. that confused with octopus yeah. or and I see onion. I see other Andy out there too. Um, I've answered uh, Ko four Puu, but he isn't answering you. Me back. You you got to oh, no, fling go. that southern slang on that. I'm from Chicago, man. If I talk you're southern, it's accidental. Alabama, you're, you're in Alabama now. We are am red. I say y'all. Hey Derek, what's up? We are we are pretty much playing cards with your brother's kids. That's what this is tonight. Derek, thirty meter FT eight. I well, see. You now Randall had the same problem. Yeah, I don't know. I can't rule out that it's this machine is having issues. And this Randall, is exactly why digital modes are ruining ham radio. Right. <laughs> exactly right. If this was voice, we could have done had this this QSO already. Right. 
Mm-hmm. Let me go back you to again, the, Jim. Going back to TO's stream. <clears throat> see what we got going on over here. It's calling. So you can see over on the right hand side here, uh, Jim was calling CQ. I tried to respond back to him. Jim called CQ again. I tried to respond back. And then this KO4 PUU person just rudely interrupted me, stole the whole conversation, sent him a 22, sent him an RR73. And then Jim's back out calling CQ again like I was never there. And he's still not listening. I'm doing you dirty. Right. That's just what I'm talking about. All right. Who we have? Well, yeah, it's probably this machine because I am AA four H G. But you can see that you can see that time delta there, Jim. Yeah, I would actually need and, to change my clock so you could hear me. Dennis has a really good idea. What is the uh, site that you go to to check that? So this is this is probably time dot is right here now, Chuck. Steve. What's my, what time <laughs> is, it, is? Is it net time? Time time dot is time dot is. This thing is uh, melting this machine. Was that Google Chrome? You're streaming? Yeah. James, why you got such a busted AS Mac computer down there? I mean, the way you throw money at radios and wires and all that other stuff, I mean, I would think that you would be running something that wasn't at least, what is that thing, 15 years old? How old did you say it was? 10. It's a 2012 Oh, I, oh I, stand I stand corrected. Well, it's, it's what, an octocore or something? It's a dodeca core. Well, it seems like it's a shit core. I mean, the way it... <laughs> third core. Son, son, get out your Evolve three. Let's make this happen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Get, get your no core. I mean, My no it, core out. That 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 Deca core. Your no Deca core is so slow it's going backwards. Well, let's see what right. we can uh, do. Joe Bird, are you still on forty? He won't listen to me, Derek. Maybe he'll listen to you. Put he does Lennox have some respect for you, Derek. I don't know how. Well, that I, happened, what I notice is that whenever Derek posts something, Jim is replying quicker than anything. I mean, I'm not saying anything out of out of there. turn here, but it's right, true. Joe, but I'm watching for you. It's all excited, Derek. That's kind of my plan. I was trying to eat some more Mac out of it for another he year or two, not. but I don't think that's going to work. So, and that, see, all of a sudden now he's going to be installing Linux. Well, I don't yep. want to because I have a whole oh, lot of Mac is. apps. I don't want to move all this crap contact. to Linux. I like Mac. Joe Brent can go back to 40 if it helps you there, James. I, I help. I hate that Apple bones their hardware owners with their... Hmm. their okay, now he says he can stay on 30. Plan. I'm firing up WSJTX on the Windows machine. Let me just check the muff. You dive into Is it the still there? And, uh, yeah, and it's kind of silly because we sh we'd be fine on 30. I mean, it would have to drop significantly to... If Jim could get his clock fixed. Where are you at, Joe Jim's Brent? Mo Jim's moving to another machine. Hold your... Calm your breasticles. Aren't we a little testy tonight? I'm saying. He no, no he I'm not. I'm not damn testy. I'm not. You're a little salty. <laughs> oh, you're just... Your rich is fitting too tight. What? I mean, what's what's going on over there? Oh, Get y'all worked up. QDX and a Pi four hundred. That is a rocking station, Andy. Whoa! Come on, Joe Brett. I'm waiting for you. I'm gonna drop the hammer on you. I got the eight eleven H all tuned up and ready for you. <laughs> that should be a song. There you are, coming at you, double barrel. Mm -mm. Oh. I'm just using the antennas. One hundred and ninety five no watts. This time, Joe Brett's waiting around on 30. Oh Joe Brett. I got all kinds of people calling me. Plus nine, plus four. W4 UW. Joe Brett's got okay. his clock in, in proper, too, because he's 0 0.2, not like 1.6. There he is, plus 10. Oh, look at that. Joe Brett, plus 10. Whoa. Where's he on 30? He's on 30. That's a I'm good hearing point, him ben. a minus four. Hmm. Jim, ben, Ben's pointing out that you're facing some serious major vulnerabilities with an OS that old. Hmm. Hmm. And, and keep in mind, he's a InfoSec hmm. expert by day. Oh, so would that be a problem for my 705 if my... Uh, 
There we go. I just I tried to click on your okay. Um, <laughs> my, my my iPad's pretty old. So <laughs> it may not old. work. I was I I, I reached up to to get Tio's or whoever's on the screen. That's me. Yeah. What gonna, are you saying? Well, I, I was. What, I mean, I got like three people waiting. Marathon gets it done. That's what I'm saying. All right. I'm on the I'm, I'm on like, the Windows I'm machine. My clock should be 80 watts at this point. Four tubes of fury. Oh, 90 watts. Excuse me. Times whatever the upgrade is on the antenna. Did you move to 30, Chuck? No, I'm on 20. I got like people backed up. I can't finish a call here for some reason. Where's he at? K8DTF. I should be able to get in. Let there me click go. that okay for you, too. Thank you. <laughs> Teamwork. I've done that. I was reading documentation like for work that had a screenshot of an error mm -hmm. message in there. And I got distracted and I came back to the... <laughs> I came back to them reading the air mess. I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> and I'm going to click, click in the OK button. And it didn't go away. So are, are all you folks in the audience, are you uh, FT8 veterans? Do you know exactly what's going on here? Or do you have any questions you want to ask? Or See, there's three reds in a row. I just got, I just got a pile up. It's actually two reds Man. in a row. It's the 73 for KS0JD that we just finished. You guys are plus 20 to me here. K9 IMK. I know, that, I know again. that's not real according to eight, but K9 IMK. Joe Brett says you're stealing his frequency. Yep. Who is? What's his frequency? TO. Well, TOs. That's because I got more power. All right. All I right. switched over to the Windows machine. I had to change the mod input. And Josh, if you have the 7610, if you're using SDR control, is LAN. And then if you switch to USB, you got to change that. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Ask me how I know. But you can do the SDR control either way with LAN or with USB, right? Yeah, and if you set it up right, so there's there's three USB data connectors um, that you can use, USB D1, D2, and D3, and you could set one on, on the 7610. On the 7610. Yes, on the 7610. Right, so that's, not, that's not on the 7300 or 7300. No, uh-uh. Oh, you're point 0.3 now, Jim. Minus 0 0.3. So you're you're three seconds into the future? Is that is that the direction that goes? I am pretty freaking awesome. Point point three seconds. I mean, that's twice Holy we cow. had to tell you to set your time. I mean, for God's sake, son. Don, you are correct. Okay, as soon as I finish up with KY four. I'm here playing cards with my brother's kids or something. See you. I'm coming. Sons of bitches. I'm gonna do a little shortcut here. I'm gonna actually type Jim's call sign in directly. So, so TL, give there. give me a question here. Um, man, I got this guy too. What the heck? Um, I'm having trouble finishing contacts. It seems like Although, I was 0. 0.4 seconds ahead on this machine, so now I just did the adjust. Thank this you. This machine should be fine. KY4 YC KY4 CU. See, so check this out in my in my decode window here. KY4 mm -hmm. CU. I'm assuming, and a pretty good reason to assume that it says. Thanks, TO73. So he just typed that right into this last message, hit TX6, mm. and went with it. Steven, I'm on, I got you. Awesome. About time. I got, so much, I got so much red, looks like Christmas in here, but I can't finish a contact. There we go. Minus O2. Red and green. Minus. It looks o like you got James at 30 right there. You don't have no. Minus O2 means you got no oxygen, huh? Yes. Right, Chuck. That's correct. And I can reshare my screen. I'll, I'm just running standard WSJTX now. All right. The problem is not the software. The problem is this old ass hardware that I'm trying to eke. I don't know. I think, I think the, the past, problem is the it? interface. The interface between the chair and the keyboard. Oh, I don't think so. Right. What are we One looking at here? Two. Whose machine? Is this, is this that's, James? That's mine. That's Windows? That's your Windows box? Yeah. Ron should be happy. I did this for Ron. <coughs> and Ron, I see that. I see that. Did, did you complete the QSO with me, Jim? It thinks it did. <laughs> I, it's not completing on my side yet. But you can still see it's transmitting down there. There we go. 
These property, these there's, people probably there's think I'm ignoring them. One side there finishing is. and the other side, the other side answering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mine just finished. I sent you a plus 11. You gave me a minus two. Yeah. So it looks like... Um, <clears throat> So it sounds uh, like somebody's DX commander is working better than somebody else's. Thing. So this is a good question for you, Chuck. I sent him a plus 11. I'm, I'm pumping out 200 watts, and he only heard a minus 02. That means he's not hearing very good. Right. I just lost my mouse again. But I was going to say, you just made that contact with a Kaneki, um yellow for crustacean Yergaway, and uh, he said it was at 5 watts. So when I got way. guys, thank you. When I got guys in the red calling me back, how do I actually? I can't always seem to get them to come up on my screen. Like W nine G, I've got him right now. All right, Chuck, take a look at my screen. I'm going to go to uh -huh. file. I'm going to try and go uh -huh. to file. Hang on. File. There we go. Settings. All right. Uh -huh. And on the general tab, there is this double click on call sets TX enable. Yeah, I got that. Okay, I'm so if you have sure that checked, have. we go into file and settings to take a look. You don't need to be pretty sure. You can be you can be a hundred percent sure. Where's it at? Double click, yeah. File settings enable. enable. Okay. So then when you I see somebody up here like set, like Don, where right. Don is red on my screen, I just double click on him. And immediately I'm now in transmit mode and go gadget go. him. Yeah. No, I, I have that. I get I get that part, but when I've got guys that have called me, and, and maybe they're in other calls by that time. Is that the deal, maybe? Yes. So I just double-click on them. Um, that one didn't work. Double-click on that one. It didn't work. But they were calling me, so. Yeah, they may have moved on. Probably. I'm too slow for them. Like I told you, I don't do this very often. This is very rare context if you make one with me tonight, guys. Uh, Ron, Ron with the uh, the ham harder action. Look at this. Let me see if I can find this comment. Look him up on QRZ, then call him on the phone and tell him to finish the damn call. <laughs> <laughs> and then W9TSB Heavy Metal Ham Radio says, how well do all softwares that support FD8 work together? Thank you, Don. And uh, they work together pretty well. The WSJTX protocol, the FT8 protocol, is an extremely open standard, and you can find a client on just about anything. There's actually FT8 Radio is the name of the app on Android. So you can use your Android phone and your radio to make FT8 calls from anywhere if you wanted to. Hmm. Hmm. And then on the X6100, we've got it running WSJTX inside of the radio, and I'm sure that new SBITX can do it. There's a couple other radios. So that means you don't need a computer? You, you need something that can compute. You don't need a computer. Okay. So like the X6100, I can run WSJTX directly inside. Is that your ANAN, Don? You can Ooh, run um, the ANAN. The Somebody WSJTX told me they had an right ELAD inside. the other day. I forget who it was. An ELAD? Yeah. I like to I almost bought one. Bought my nine eighty one. You say awful instead. lot about, about buying these SDRs. Awesome. That Elad's it's like up there with flexes and <clears throat> nons. He's been talking about that for what three years but now. Abe? It's only it's only mm -hmm. QRP though. But you can't you get a mercury amp and put it on there? I, I could yeah I've got it. Well I don't actually weird. I'm not, not sure I like my. You use the tube amp don't you? T yes. Yep. Yes I do. What's your question, Chuck? Oh just. I've used my amp before. I was out. I I thought. I mean, I was like out up till like three in the morning one time when I first kind of got into FT8, and I was all over Australia with like maybe 800 watts. I don't know, something like that. Hmm. It's written in a what? What is it written in? It's a it's one of the Fort, old dead Fortran. Light. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought it was Fortran. I think it's written in Fortran, yeah. So, Raphael, the ARL puts out a book, the ARL Handbook, and there's a fantastic description of the FT8 protocol and what all it's sending and, and why it's limited the way that it's limited and, and how all the magic works. And it's it's fairly well detailed, and you could actually you know, get the software itself and read the code if you understood code better. I don't know whether you know how to read code or not. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, like, you could. 
I, well, I that's how the guys did uh, JSA call, right? They took the code and then they started monkeying with it. Yeah. I put one of those code things on my phone one time. I took it off. I couldn't get it. It just didn't make sense to me. What do you mean, son? I think he's talking about Morse code. Oh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. God, I got guys calling me all over the place and I can't make a contact. Win RPR. Damn scam, we have not done that. I'll put it on the list for uh, Nuggets one night. Oh, let me see this. Let's go there. Now let me hit him. Georgia. Got a Georgia guy here. If it can be done on uh, Linux, that is. Hmm. Hmm. I probably got people mad at me because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. <clears throat> well, that's, I mean, look, it's, it's okay. There's a lot of folks out there doing FTA that don't know what they're doing. I mean, I'm making contacts, but. Uh, well, boys, let's go around the horn and shut this thing down. Yes, sir. Hey, oh, first off, we want to say thanks, clock. everybody in the chat, for playing along and trying to work the James. Uh, we know it's not easy. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Wing it, oh, when RPR is not open source. Hmm. And Marvin's asking a good question. We only got 40 likes and 73 watch. And if you want to click the like button, it would be greatly appreciated. And we think that you're awesome -er than we already do. Hit it like T it owes you money. Tio, you got anything you need to say? I do. I do. The new firmware is out for the X6100. I did a video on a preview of the firmware that I got today it's not officially released in the us of a as of yet uh but as soon as it is i will re-review it to make sure there isn't anything different mm. and if How'd there is that? we'll let you know so i got it because i am a member of the toads discord i'm actually ape and i we're the founding members of the toads discord mm -hmm. and uh you know number one and number two here representing and who's so number two oh absolutely <laughs> i did that really fast didn't i, <laughs> I did that really fast didn't i <laughs> And so uh, we, we talked about it this morning, and it was like, hey, the new firmware is out. And, no, it's not on any website. Oh, I got a copy of it. Uh -oh. oh, I want that. And then I you know, jumped right on it because the, the new display on the screen is fantastic. There's now an oscilloscope, so James is going to have to buy another X6100. Oh, man. No. No. Nope. You know he buys anything that has an oscilloscope in it. No, nope. right? well, he needs to buy a Mac with an oscilloscope, I guess, is the right thing. Obviously. They made some waterfall improvements. They're supposed to have made some Bluetooth improvements. I'm, I'm not getting them to work yet. That could be a U.S. thing. I don't know yet. We'll find out. I'm thinking that there's like regional profiles for Bluetooth, like there's regional profiles for Wi-Fi. That would make sense. The profile that's in it ain't the profile that I'm hmm. in. So it's, it's working kind of weird. You can do, at the moment, you can do FT8 cat control over Bluetooth or FT8 audio over Bluetooth, but you can't do both. So you still need to be wired to the radio. But progress. I'm happy. It's a lot of fun to play with. And then I'm playing with the G106 also because that's also well, you, another. You fun jailbroke video. that thing, didn't you? Didn't you jailbreak it? This one, yeah. That I was the first one to, to get into this thing and figure out what the root password was and start installing different operating systems on it. And then everything's just evolved from there and the community took off with it. Toads are amazing. Yes. Yeah. And I have a link was... pinned to the top of the chat for joining Toads over there. And that is one of the busiest frogs. channels. Today, especially. It's yeah. been a while. It's been mm -hmm. quiet. Because they got new firmware out for the G106. They got new firmware out for the G92 for the G90 in the last, like, two weeks, which they haven't done in, like, the last two years or something. So, and then I reached out to them again today to see if they wanted to hire me because, you know, I'm, I'm, I need a job. Well, that's I mean, awesome. Didn't you just get fired? Shh. Oh, oh, My right. wife's watching. Shh. Oh, guys <laughs> Dennis is saying the 6100 might yet become a good radio. Eventually, it might become a good radio, yeah. 36 firmware updates from now. Well, Chuck, you got anything you wanted to say before we shut her down? You know what? I'm going to I'm going to I've got a I'm going to build an antenna for a video. It's going to be a rotatable dipole that does like four bands. Watch uh, somebody's going to drop coax. a video on that on Saturday. I know I should. I invented anything. the rotatable dipole. But check this out. I made this. I drew this up today in, in Tinkercad and printed it. It's kind of hard to see it, but it looks like a tactical green lipstick. It is. Other Andy, I, I'm I'm talking to you now, buddy. He's got you, other Andy. He's keeping an eye on you. Uh, James, you got anything oh, you want to say before uh, before before I push the button? No, no. Thank you all for being here. We have plenty of antennas. 
Hit us up in the toads. Love you guys. Mean it. This is great. Always fun. Even with Don Fucked here. Toads. And James yeah, is committed to staying on FT8 for the next two hours to work anybody that was uh, didn't have a chance to be at their radio. <laughs> <and stuff. So laughs> actually, the couch. Actually, I probably will. It's just I just the kind of guy he is, you know? I can't. I don't know. And there, Don is running his Apache Labs on, on 7K. He's got one of those, too. Denmark. Just Y'all make fun of me with the oscilloscope Ecuador. thing. Don probably has one of every radio currently made. Well, the thing I was I was going to ask him and I didn't was when I was sending the messages was like, why are you like are you going to think about getting rid of any of the other stuff like your one on one or something like that? Um, because he's got the Sun SDR uh, DX, yeah, which is nice. All right, John. And oh, he's, he's got, got that, that too. He does. And he has a flex, right? Or did he get rid of that? He's got the flex. He's got the Sun SDR. He's got the Ion. He's got the Hermes Light too. And I know yeah. he's got another one floating around in there. I just can't think of the name of it. Wow. I just got Cuba. So, all right. Well, I'm pushing the button. Thanks again, everybody. Had a great time. Thanks, uh, all. Really appreciate Fantastic. it. Fantastic. Yeah. See you guys. This is fun. Take care. I didn't learn a thing, but it's fun. Yeah. Yes, you did.